Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because as you can clearly tell by the title, we're gonna be going over some of my favorite organization hacks and closet organization ideas that you can use to maximize the space in your closet and overall just get the most out of it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the thing. Every closet is different, but every closet is beautiful in its own unique way. No matter what size, shape, whatever you wanna call it, all closets are beautiful closets. I used to get really discouraged about having a small closet, but you kinda just have to work with it and figure out what works best for you and your space. Which leads me into my first tip, which is to analyze your ideal closet space. I want you to go into your closet and make a list of things that aren't working and that bother you on a day-to-day -day basis. Is it clutter on your floor, clutter on your top shelf? Are you tired of never being able to find your favorite shirt exactly when you need it? Pointing out exactly what's bothering you before you jump into the reorganizing process will allow you to make sure that these problems are actually getting fixed and you aren't just repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Because what's the point of reorganizing something that clearly doesn't already work? Making this list will make the issues that you're having in your closet obvious and clear so that you can create a game plan, which we'll be getting into later. Structuring your closet based on your everyday routine makes all the difference in the flow of your space. Personally, I work from home and I also go to college. I'm always in loungewear and athleisure, so I make sure I keep those categories at the front of my closet so I can just grab them and throw them on and go every day. If you go to work every day or you dress up often, you wanna make sure that these items are actually placed in the center. This tip was seriously a game changer for me. One of the biggest issues that I've always found myself having is not being able to actually see my clothes. So it was always a constant struggle of trying to find certain pieces that I needed from time to time. To fix this issue, you're gonna wanna avoid putting your favorite clothing items and most worn clothing items too high or too low for you to see or reach. Having a color-coded closet is seriously a dream. I literally obsess over those um, super aesthetic closets on Pinterest all the time. But let me tell you, in my personal experience, just straight color coding my closet just did not work for me at all. If it works for you and you do it, don't change it up if that works for you. I'm so jealous, but it doesn't work for me. It was just super hard for me to maintain on a daily basis. And I was never able to find anything and it was just a hot mess. But I found a way around it. You're gonna want to organize your closet by type, then by color. So organize your closet by type, like your tank top section, your sweater section, your workout section, and then within those individual sections, color code. It's not the most aesthetic, but it works. The top shelves of the closet are notorious for being a place where you kind of just throw things up there and forget about it. But let me tell you, if you actually use the top shelf for your closet, it literally makes an insane difference in the amount of space that you have. Seriously, one of the most functional and handy places that you can have. I love using these little shelf dividers because not only are they super easy to use, but they make seriously all the difference on your closet shelves. All you have to do is clip them onto your closet shelf and they keep all of your clothes from falling all over each other when you're grabbing or looking through them. You can also use these to make categories on yourself so that way you know exactly where everything is. And you can avoid all the shuffling and ruffling through them whenever you're in a rush and on the go in the morning. Another way you can organize the top shelf of your closet is by using storage bins to line your top shelves. This has always been my tried and true method of organizing my top shelf because it literally takes no effort at all and they're perfect for organizing like accessories, like hats, gloves, scarves, things that you aren't reaching for on an everyday basis or even a year round basis. And you kind of can just throw them in and go and not have to worry about if everything is neat or not. So it's a super easy, effortless organization system. As long as you know what goes in each bin, you're golden. Another organization little tip pack that I swear by is using a one in one out method. So basically anytime you buy anything new or get clothes from anywhere, something has to go. This just keeps your closet fresh and new and things don't get so cluttered over time. And one way that you can do this without having to even think about it, turn all of your hangers a certain way and whenever you wear it, turn the hanger the other way. That way when you buy something new, you know what you've worn and what you haven't worn. It's so it can be easier to determine what should be going. 
One thing that I noticed that all the bigger and fancier kind of master closets had was lights. And most of the time, small closets don't come with lights. So I found these motion censored battery operated LED lights that you can just put at the top of your closet and it'll come out, it'll turn on whenever you open your door. That way you can actually see everything and it won't be dark. So another thing that you can do to kind of make your closet more cohesive and aesthetic is to use the same color and style hanger throughout your closet. I like using these black thin velvet ones because A, they don't take up that much space and B, because they're velvet, your clothes actually stay on the hanger and you don't have to worry about them falling off. Now in here, I do have like some plastic ones mixed in because I ran out a time or two, but overall, if you have like the same color um, hanger in your closet, it'll be more simple, minimalistic, and everything will, even if you do have a lot of clothes, it won't appear as junky or cluttered looking. Another little small problem that I found, you, this may or may not bother you, but whenever I went to go find my jeans, it was so annoying having to unroll, unravel, and look through them to find the exact pair that I was looking for. So I got these little black hooks that you can use that just hook on your jean belt loop. So whenever you are searching for your jeans, you don't even have to unfold anything. You can just shift through and you can see everything and it just makes finding your jeans so much easier. This shoe shelf works amazing for organizing your shoes in your closet. I love this specific one because one, it's stackable and two, it's solid across, like it doesn't have like those rails. So you don't have to worry about like your shoes falling in between the rails or sliding off or anything like that. I don't know if it was just me, but the ones that have like gaps in the middle, I was never able to keep my shoes like on the racks, like they would always fall. Maybe we should just use your air, whatever, but I absolutely love this one. Oh, another cool thing I forgot to tell you. Another cool thing about this one is that they, you can mount it to your wall. So like if you have an existing built-in shoe shelf or you have an extra wall in your closet that you can build like a tall um, shoe shelf with, you can literally just mount this to your wall and it'll be like you have a built-in shoe shelf, which is so cool. And that concludes today's video. If you guys like this video and want to see more organization hacks and home hacks, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a new video every single Sunday. Bye guys.